Good evening, friends. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. And remember, my friends, future events such as these will affect you in the future. Wow, wasn't that powerful writing? No? Yeah, most people don't think so. I, however, love both it and the movie it's from, Player 9 from Outer Space. And yes, I know I have talked about this gosh darn movie more than once, and many of you are probably sick of hearing about it, to which I say, sorry, couldn't resist. Seriously though, isn't it funny what we as audiences find good and bad? No two top 10 movie lists for best film are ever the same. And with Oscar time approaching faster than acid reflux after eating an entire crock pot of buffalo mac and cheese, yeah, of course I've done that. Do you have to ask? I figured it was time the Hollywood lowdown got down with its own Oscar show. So for the next few segments, we, and by we I mean me, are going to have our own little award ceremony for actors, actresses, directors, and films who have seemed to somehow been snubbed by Mr. Oscar. And no, being nominated doesn't count. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the only award ceremony that ends before 11. This is the Oscar night at the Lowdown. Okay, don't I at least get an intro or anything? Something fantastic? Huh? Can we? Nice. That's, that's great. Our first category goes to Best Actor and some of their best performances. And since I have a hard time choosing one, let's just say all of them are winners and all of them benefit from some amazing acting talent and are not Shia LaBeouf or John Leguizamo. And the nominees are... How about a drum roll? Can we get a drum roll going? I ask for so little on this thing. I don't even... The nominees are Robert Forrester, a wonderful actor known best for either being a cop, a tough guy, or just being downright awesome. Some of his best work includes a cop named David Madison fighting a mutated alligator in the movie cleverly titled Alligator, a journalist named John Caselli's in Medium Cool, a terrorist in Delta Force, a bail bondsman named Max Cherry in Jackie Brown, and the action hit Vengeance. Chris Sarandon one of my personal favorite actors, known for an amazing range of performances. Some of his best movies include Jerry Dandridge as a suave vampire in Fright Night, a tough-as-nails cop named Mike Norris in Child's Play, a spoiled pompous Prince Humperdinck in The Princess Bride, a head demon in The Sentinel, and Al Pacino's transgender wife in Dog Day Afternoon. Tom Atkins, a cult character actor who, in the horror and sci-fi genre, has more power than Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt and all those other pretty boys combined. His greats include such gems as Dr. Dan Chalice in Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, Detective Ray Cameron in Night of the Creeps, a heroic Nick Castle in The Fog, Dan the Abusive Father in Creepshow, and a company schmuck named Michael Hunsacker in Lethal Weapon. It's a fun word, Hunsucker, Hunsucker. What a great word to say. Vincent Price, dubbed by many as the Prince of Horror. His Makar masterpieces include Jared, an artist turned killer in House of Wax, a resurrected doctor turned madman in both The Abominable Dr. Fives and Dr. Fives Rises Again, a lovable and powerful wizard in The Raven, an even more lovable inventor in Edward Scissorhands, his last role, might I add, and of course, also known for lending his voice to a certain little thrilling music video. The evil of the thriller. <laughs> Keith David, another cult great and wonderful character actor, mostly noted for his performances in two John Carpenter classics. He was Childs in The Thing, and a drifter named Armitage, 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 and They Live. I'm just gonna keep going. He also proved his comedic side as Mary's dad in There's Something About Mary, and provided the voice for that creepy cat in Coraline. He also gave a very memorable performance as Big Tim in Requiem for a Dream. 
And there you have it, the winners for Best Actor, all of them with some wonderful performances under their belts. I recommend you check out the films mentioned tonight and other movies done by our winners. Tune in next time as our Hollywood Lowdown Oscar event continues as it will be time to call in the ladies. Until then, this is Mark McCrina saying good night. And for the actual Oscars, just DVR it and watch it the next day. Fast forward the commercials. It only takes an hour and a half. The things you learn. Night.